Hey, this is Lorena and I wanted to do a video on my current favorites, but also too, I wanted to add work days in there because y'all like watching them and share some of the work that I've been doing for some of my subscribers and YouTube watchers and y'all have been great. I love y'all. So I wanted to share some of those quilts that I've been quilting for some of those clients who are willing to ship their quilts to me. Aren't they awesome? I think it's crazy, but I'm thankful. I'm not saying nothing. And so, yeah, we're gonna talk about that. So, let's get talking. All right, current favorite number one, it is called a USB power strip. I love this thing. They're a bit pricey, they're like $50. The reason I love it is because it has eight plugins and I think nine USB plugins, and it has the ability on the top to charge your phone. Yeah, this thing is awesome. Um, I have one on top of my table here where I sew a lot of my leaders on and well, one day I'll do piecing up here and it's on the table. It also has my camera batteries plugged in and it has USBs to plug in like my music or anything else that I need to plug in. It's all on the top. It's not under the table where I have to get under there and get it plugged in. And it's just, it's nice. It's like a little really cool looking tower. I love this thing. It's my favorite thing. All right, client quilt number one from the Tubesters from y'all, a subscriber. She sent me two quilts. And this quilt is a beautiful white and beautiful green quilt. I did a video on this quilt on how to find center. I'll post it up here. But I wanted to share a little bit of the details of what pattern I used. I used a rose pattern from Anne Bright and I'll post the picture here. I also used essential thread. I think it was called mist. I'm not sure, but I'll post that here. And um, getting to meet you personally, my subscribers or viewers, it's, well, not personally, but I got to FaceTime her. I've been on the phone with her. It's just been kind of fun. It's been neat. And the quilt came out beautiful. And I just wanted to thank anyone who sends me their quilt. I can't believe it. And I'm so thankful. All right, favorite item number two. I love these, and let me just say this. You could use this for your long arm quilting machine. You can also use this on any domestic sewing machine, and also too, I have used these for my embroidery machine, and let me look up the name of them. It's a multi-purpose clean room foam tip cleansers swab kit. Now the neat thing about these kits, it has one that is very long and then another very wide like this one or this one's kind of dirty or a little one like this. They have pointy ones, long ones, and this kit comes with a whole bunch of variety of them. I think this kit came with about a hundred with the variety of five different kinds. I have used this to clean my sewing machine, my Juki 210Q, I believe that's what it was called. I opened it up and I cannot believe how dirty this sucker was. What I love about these things is it goes into the ridges. As a matter of fact, um, you could use the pointier, smaller tips and it goes into those little corners and also too, you can use the long, um, pieces and it goes deep into the machine and pulls out lint from where you cannot imagine where that lint came from. And so I love these things. I've also used this for my long arm quilting machine. I ended up using it around some the bottom where I have my bobbin and in those kind of weird, hard to reach areas, I use the little small pieces. These things are great. You can also use these to clean your camera apparently too. So they're very versatile and they can reach into tight spaces and like I could clean my screen like I am now and it says that it does not damage your lens. Yeah, these are cool, cool, cool favorite thing ever. I love these things. All right, let's talk about quilt number two. Uh, one of you wonderful subscribers sent me this quilt. I called this the 
and the, the well, I called it a cat quilt for some reason because it had some cats and dogs. I think mainly it had dogs. It was a beautiful strip quilt. And this thing quilted so lovely and so easy. And the lady was such a treasure to talk to. So she sent me this beautiful quilt and I used a beautiful, it's called Dog Tales from Anne Bright. This quilt quilted beautifully. It was very straight. Um, very well ironed and done with a lot of love. I love the hot pink and the magenta in it and it just was quirky because it had this beautiful kind of dog pattern fabric on it. It was just the neatest and to quilt the design that I quilt on it just it was cool. So I wanted to thank her for sending her quilt to me. She's from Dallas and I appreciate her a lot. It's a blessing just to do something for her. And so, yeah, this is her quilt. All right, item number three, that's one of my favorite. And I've talked about this before. And uh, in the video of where I was organizing my thread, I will post a link up here somewhere. Um, in this video, I found this uh, tape called Hugo's Tape. Just recently on Superior, I found them have Hugo tape in different sizes. Usually the Hugo tape came in a big old roll like this. Well, I ended up using the whole roll for all my embroidery thread if you watch that video. And um, it's been hard to find, by the way. I haven't been able to find it. But recently Superior Thread had it and I decided to put my jam on it because I love this tape. It's a tape that it self adhesives so when you wrap the item around itself it tapes to itself and so it can hold any type of thread. I also went ahead and cut myself smaller strips about a fourth. Here's my Hugo tape and I'm gonna wrap it around my bobbin. I'm gonna see if this works. I honestly don't know if it will, but let's give it a try. So I cut it about a fourth inch wide and I'm just gonna wrap the bobbin with my Hugo tape. And so what I'm gonna do to kind of um, make this easier for me is I'm gonna cut a whole bunch of these pieces out and just have it ready so that when I'm done with the bobbin, I could just wrap it. What I love about it is you put just a little bit of pressure and it kind of seals itself. But if I need the bobbin right away, pull it off. And they had a variety of sizes. I got this size. Because on the big one, I would cut it to this size so that it could save me some cutting time. But Hugo tape, I, yes. on my embroidery stuff, when I took it all down and moved it downstairs and moved it outside of my house, I ended up not having a thread nest problem or thread problems because all of my embroidery was wrapped in this stuff and I just been using it for several years and I love it. I really do love this. Client's quilt number three. Um, this client sent me a beautiful black and gray with some red quilt for, to me. This quilt is beautiful. It's nice and it's a great size. Um, the lady that sent this to me is using it, is going to, I believe, give it to her daughter for a wedding. And um, this quilt is lovely. So I just wanted to share with you the quilt and also too, I still need to trim it and cut it, but I will show you some pictures of how beautiful this thing quilted. I used, I believe it's called Gala from Anne Bright, another Anne Bright design. I did use, I believe it's called an essentials thread. It was a gray that she sent me um, and it just quilted wonderful. So I just wanted to share her quilt too. All right, item number three. Is it three, am I three? On three, it's called these mouse pads. They're large mouse gaming mouse pads. And I was just like, okay, I want some more. I went on Amazon and I bought a mouse pad that looks like it's marble. And that one I am using for my Apple computer where I have all my mouse and my keyboard sitting on. And I also found an aqua mouse pad that I just love. It's a beautiful, it looks like water, it looks like paint 
with some gold and sparkle in it and I just love it. The reason I'm using the Aqua out, uh, mouse pad is so that I could put my sewing machine under it. It gives the ability, my machine was kind of walking on me. It grips the sewing machine and my machine stopped walking on me on the table. From Urban Elements and they are called digital print decals that you put on your sewing machine and these things are a treasure you're gonna go ahead i bought a whole package of them they did cost me like 20 something dollars maybe 29 dollars so they were quite a bit of money but let me just say this uh my juki 210 i have had it for years and so you know the machine is just old and then i also have a singer xl 6000 and she's an old fart and i've had her for a long time but what i love is that with these decals you could cut them to whatever size you needed to be like you could cut this off and individualize them and you're gonna see that I cut the whole sheet I had enough to be honest to put on three sewing machines to fill up two sewing machines and I even had this as a leftover and I could put this on my sewing machine somewhere else so it's just based on how much you want to put on your machine but I had enough to do two or three machines so what you do is you cut these out to the design or size that you want. You can kind of place it wherever you think um, it'll fit real nice. And then rub all the air bubbles out. And even if you have air bubbles, you could kind of like finagle it. Is that a word? Finagle? the top part off. Just like that and kind of just rub it. And I like kind of cutting them apart to where like they're individual pieces. And then just rub it. And then the neat thing is, is you could kind of lift it up. Oh, well, that's not what you want to do. Oh. Kind of rub everything in. And Also, let me be clear that I'm not sponsored by nobody. There's no obligation in any way for you guys to purchase anything that I'm sharing with you. I just wanted to share like my favorite stuff and I, uh, yeah, just let's share. That's all it is, just share. I really, really want to thank anybody who would even consider sending me a quilt from another state to have me work on. What a treasure, what a gift. It has been an experience for me and I thank you for all the kind words and love that you've just shared with me on either Lorena's Quilting Facebook group or shared with me by messaging me on Facebook. I mean, thank you. Y'all are awesome. So I appreciate you and I thank you and I'll see you on the next one.